yo, check this out, y'all. I didn't show you this. This came in last week. It's from Death Valley when we were there, what was that, in February with Chris. This shit came out sick. I did this really long crop on this, which I've never done before. It's really dope, actually. It's either gonna go on this wall right here or this wall right there. Haven't exactly decided quite yet. All right, y'all, we have a lot of stuff to do today. This is probably the busiest time of year for me. November and December is when companies have advertising budgets going through the roof. They're trying to clear out money. So freelancers like me get a little more work than normal. It's been a crazy couple weeks. It's gonna continue on through the end of the year. I'm gonna bring you guys along. We're gonna use this lens a little bit more right here. It is the Leica Sumicron 35 F2. We're gonna talk about it a little bit. It is just gonna be an overall great day of photography and creativity and that intro clip the street photography that I was making with this lens right here there's a full behind the scenes video on patreon for that right now so I'll link that down in the description if you want a more in-depth look at that shoot it was a fantastic morning of photography I got some crazy photos but I think my favorite one is definitely this one right here it's been fun doing street photography again So I'm officially one week and one day away from the Atlanta Half Marathon. Really excited about this race. I'm not nervous at all about the distance. 13 miles is gonna be a piece of cake. Not worried about my average mile. I am a little bit worried just about the fact that I've never done one of these before and I don't exactly know like the race strategy of a race that's 90 minutes long. I mean, I really feel like by mile 10, 11, 12, and 13, your boy is gonna be in a little bit of survival mode. So today we're tapering off from training. It is an easy six mile run. So I just shipped out some book and print orders. Now I'm headed to the first shoot of the day. I have two photo shoots today. Like I mentioned in the last vlog, the business of everything since I moved back to the city is really shifting a lot back to like freelance type gigs like this. So this first shoot is a lookbook job. What's up? The guy who owns the company we're shooting with today. Stepping out. Product right there. Season one. So we're waiting on the people who own the studio to show up and let us in. But today's shoot, I think we have three models and it is gonna be a natural light shoot, which is what I prefer. Somebody dropped a comment the other day asking me if I even owned a flash, which I thought was hilarious because I don't own one. I probably should because I'm sure I could use it for something. But today's shoot is a natural light shoot. We have a shot list that we're gonna to try to execute and then hopefully have like 30, 45 minutes afterwards to freestyle and try some things out. I've never been to this studio before, so I'm not sure what to expect, but it should be a lot of fun. One of the main things we're gonna use is this wall right here. We also have some colored paper in the closet so we can do like monochromatic stuff as well. Basically the idea of this shoot is what's popular and trendy these days with most lifestyle brands. People doing just basic natural light photo shoots using basic backdrops. Real quick, I'm gonna show you the gear I'm using today. The main thing is gonna be the Leica SL2 with the 70 to 200. That's like the go-to for these types of shoots for me. I've always mentioned how the 70 to 200 is like the most boring lens ever outside of work. And I stand by that because that lens only gets used for projects like this. And if we wanna break this out, we can use the Leica 35. I'll probably save this for the end of the shoot once uh, we got all the shots we need on the shot list using the autofocus stuff. shoot down how do you think it went I think it went incredible man Stefano season one I'm so excited to have Evan be a part of this everybody killed it today <laughs> chickened out didn't use the 35 like I planned on did a couple shots with it but was scared I would get the manual focus wrong we're gonna break down head to shoot number two on the day keeps me plenty busy all right shoot two is done for the day 
Andrew Bloom is in here, Atlanta artist. He modeled for me today. I can't show you the photos because of NDA type things. We just got lunch at the Cafe Lucia. So last night, me and my brother went to the Atlanta Falcons game and it was one of the most brutal Atlanta Falcons games I've ever had to sit through. It might be the most brutal Atlanta sporting event I've ever been to in my life. We just played terrible, the vibe was horrible. Yeah, but yesterday after I finished with Andrew, I just had a bunch of computer stuff to do for the rest of the day. Now we're gonna go meet up with my buddy Petey. He actually used to be my manager back in the day when I first started photography. He helped me a lot with business stuff. He is now an Atlanta artist himself. He's painting a mural with VH1 and we're finally gonna get out with this 35. So this video has become a little bit of a chaotic mess. The first time I came out here to make photos of Petey, I technically wasn't allowed to because it was a TV set for the day. It's pretty amazing that my man is gonna be on TV right here. He's gonna be on VH1. We have no idea when it's gonna debut. But uh, got anything to say? It's honored to be here, man. <laughs> Shoot with my brother. It was pretty funny last time we came. We couldn't really get any shots because VH1 was tripping, but uh, it's just cool for him to be out here with me while I'm actually working on something this, of this magnitude, you know? Like from where we came from, man. All this, all this stuff I was talking, you know, manifestation is real. You know, it's kind of funny. This video highlights something that I've been thinking about a lot lately, and it's my biggest flaw as a photographer, creative professional, artist, whatever you want to call me. And it's me sometimes getting stuck in a comfort zone. Now, I'm not one of these people who is just content with their life staying the exact same way. You know, that's not me. You guys should know that by now. But when it comes to my creativity, and I think this affects a lot of artists out there, and it affects everybody's life as well, depending on where you want to apply it, I do get stuck in a comfort zone. And I bought this lens about a year ago. This lens is fantastic. It just, the photos I made of Petey, they look like something out of a movie. They're so cinematic, they look beautiful. They have a certain feel to them that I only get with this piece of equipment. Same with those street photos, the colors on those, those colors I cannot get with other lenses, but with this, I can, and the only thing holding me back from taking advantage of this new tool that I added almost a year ago was just me simply staying in a comfort zone and not wanting to learn how to use it. And that right there is my biggest flaw, not embracing things that could potentially help me and help my career and give me better results. You know, I just get stuck in my ways and say, eh, I don't feel like putting the energy into learning something new. And that plagues a lot of people, like I said. And for me, I really regret not taking advantage of this sooner and not learning it sooner because this is something that can dramatically improve my photography. And also it's a blessing that I'm able to afford something like this and be able to use it every single day for my job. And it's kind of a waste to just have it sitting in my bag. So today's episode really highlighted that. It's been something I've been thinking about a lot, and that's actually why I ended up picking up this iPad Pro as well. This has been something I've thought about for the last couple weeks as my schedule has gotten busier, as this business has continued to grow. I've realized I can't just stay in the exact way that I was you know, a year ago. That system is outdated, it doesn't work, and I need to do something to improve and make this business more organized with my scheduling, also with mobile editing and things like that, and also with my fitness. You know, just stuff needs to get dialed in, and sometimes you gotta invest some money to solve those problems, and sometimes you just gotta make that leap and say, I'm gonna take a week, two weeks, maybe even a month out of my life to really improve and learn a new skill. And this iPad is that, 
today's video is an example of that. And it ended up being kind of a cool message to this video that I wasn't exactly expecting. I thought this was just gonna be something about, you know, this lens that I never use. So if you enjoyed today's video, do me a solid, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you are not yet. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Feel free to give me some tips on iPad stuff. I think I'm gonna use Notion for most of my project management stuff, but if you have any tips on fitness things or mobile editing, anything with this, let me know. It's gonna make some appearances in future videos as I continue to learn it and improve this whole productivity side of my business and get out of this comfort zone that ended up being the theme of today's video. So see y'all next time.